Hey, Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. I was just doing an air guitar. Did I do throwing? Sorry. It's been a crazy week. I, I have to do anything just to get myself to laugh. Tired, crazy, weird week. Blah. Okay, I'm done. Knives headed today to Michael Starr at Spectrum Shooting Solutions. Michael, your jaw is going to drop when you see these. You know, there are some of these are pretty straightforward and some are uh, pretty cool and some are over the top, crazy badass, awesome. So, Michael at Spectrum Shooting, he's in Perry, Kansas. You can reach him at 785-220-0112. Let's take a look-see. I'm going to start right up here. Two fixed colonial, both S35, both black PVD on the blades, and one Coyote and one black G10. Who's busting in? Hi. Oh, hey. Did I just, oh. Yeah, you're on my video. Oh, sorry. Hey, everybody. I'll get out of your video. <laughs> All right. So, uh, back to the knives here. Slim. Slim Midi. Seen these coming out lately. I don't need to talk about that too I, much. I love the Slim Midi. Oh, yeah. That's your personal carry right now, right? It is. It's one of my faves. It's one of my faves ever. Even though it's little. You know, it's little. It's so weird to have something little that I like. Right? But I love this guy. It's just the way I carry it. I've been carrying this now since we came out with the knife, and it hasn't left my side. <laughs> and I've given a few out to my close shooting buddies and friends in my life, and they're always like, they're like, dude, that's the fucking coolest knife I've ever had. Oh, okay, cool. I'm glad you like it. It's three slabs of material, and it's a pan he has to grind. We love it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back out here. Go make a table, would you? I'm making a table. <laughs> All right. So from the slim to midis, we have good, by the way. thank you. We have several here. So this one is an S35. It was Vulcan, and we wanted to tumble it a little bit. So this is an S35 tumbled Vulcan. You can still see at the right angle. You see the Vulcan finish, and as you tilt it, you catch the tumbling a little bit more. So that's an S35 Vulcan tumbled. It has a both. An anodized and a flamed handle. It's probably hard to see. It's been bronze anodized in the field and then flamed around the perimeters. It's subtle, but it's very cool. The second MIDI Marauder is D2 Vulcan. Got a lot of brilliant colors on this. Bronze anodized handles post process. So all these grooves you see in here are going to be the same color as the anodizing. This one's straight up tumbled. It looks like it's bead blasted, but I don't think it was. I, let me see what I had done. No, just tumbled. Uh, so pretty straight, straightforward, D2 Vulcan. And to complement it, I had the boys flame the hardware in the clip. So it's a little bit more tactical, everyday, kind of classy, with a little bit of flaming to pop. Here's another tumbled Vulcan S35 blade. And the handles and spring tumbled. Claimed hardware and clip again. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. Ooh, yeah, this is classy, kind of a tuxedo, an Air Force tuxedo version, I would say. A satin blade, blue handles, polished perimeters on the handles, tumbled clip. I believe Greg sharpened all of these knives himself. Hair popping sharp, just crazy. All right, we're going to go from the, from the midi straight up to Marauder, because I like to save the best for last. Full-size Marauder, S35 Vulcan Tonto. So, let's see. This was bead blasted, and then the perimeters were polished, and then it was anodized. So you see the difference in texture of the blasted handles and then the polished perimeters. And then we flamed the clip to complement the blade. And you're going to notice on all of our knives now, the serial number on it. They are serialized. So now if someone goes to make a fake of our knives, <laughs> it's gonna get harder and harder because our serial numbers are on the, on the knives. And they'll be inside here too. All right, these are the two absolutely amazing MIDI Marauders. The first one's a D2 Vulcan. Joe did his kind of hammered texture to it. It's got a beautiful fade. Blue to violet to bronze in the main field and back out to violet and blue. Oh, sexy. And this is my favorite. I picked this combination. 
I didn't execute it, but I picked the combination. So the D2 Vulcan blade, the handle was polished and flamed. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's flamed. These look like, it looks like a big wave crashing. And so he left a little portion of it, not flamed. And the back is straight up blue anodized and polished. And then the clip is brushed and flamed to complement the handle. That right there, I post this video, that's gonna be gone. It is not sharpened, but it will be. I, I, I stole it so that I could film the video, but that will be sharpened. And maybe I'll put that in my pocket. No, I promise I won't, Michael. And a whoop here. Man, it's amazingly lightweight, this knife. This knife is heavier than the Viper almost, it feels. I don't know what it is. So for such a big knife, unfortunately, a discontinued model. Maybe at some point we'll bring it back because everybody loves it so much. S35, tumble blade, PVD handle, and spring with polished perimeters. And the new clip. It's like the last knife we made and it got the new clip. So that is a collector's right there because that's probably the only Viper that has that clip on it. And it's the last knife we're going to make in this model. <laughs> Man. So that's it. These knives will head out to Spectrum Shooting Solutions. Probably not today. And today is Friday, so it'll take until next week. But they'll get them uh, in his hands probably sometime towards the end of next week. And until next time, I'm out.